everyone, and thanks for watching. My name is Marsha, and I work in the group department at Magic Cruises and Tours. I'm joined today by Amanda Smith from Celebrity Cruises, and we are going to talk about the Woodhead Cruise. Hi, Welcome everyone. Amanda. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Marsha. <laughs> thanks so much for having me. I'm yeah. excited to be here and talk about this awesome cruise, and I'm so happy to have everybody on board the, sh uh, the ship in 2024. Yes, yes. Everyone is excited to sail with Celebrity Cruises on this fantastic nine-night cruise. Um, this is the fourth cruise that we have planned for the Woodhead Group, um, but they haven't gone on Celebrity Cruises before. So can you tell us a little bit about Celebrity Cruises and maybe what sets them apart? Absolutely. Yeah. So Celebrity um we're really on board, uh, known for our relaxed luxury experience. So we we offer an, a luxury type experience, but in more of a relaxed environment. So you feel comfortable, um, but you can expect all of those luxury type amenities and service and uh, food culinary yes. that you uh, get from regular luxury type of vacations. Oh, that sounds great. Since this is a nine night cruise, um, we want to talk a little bit about the ship because the group's going to have like four days at sea to enjoy what is on board. Um, and since um, I haven't sailed on this ship before, but I, I saw that it has won lots of awards. It even got like best public spaces four years in a row from uh, Cruise Critics uh, Cruiser's Choice Awards. Um, tell us a little about this ship in particular, Celebrity Equinox. So the, the Equinox is part of our Solstice class ships, which features a lawn club, which I think we'll talk about a little bit. Oh, there it is right there. So the lawn club is one of the, the huge features of the ship. It's a uh, real grass. It's a half acre and it's on top of, as you can see on the top deck, um, but it has other spaces in, in the um, lawn club area. So it, you can go and, and rent out a cabana to have as your own little private space. There's TV up there. So if there's any major sporting events um, or we'll show you know some popular movies um, up in that area. And then we also have um, croquet, bocce ball, and a variety of other um, sporting activities uh, that you can play up there if you'd like to. And the coolest thing that I love to do up there is the glass blowing. So the glass blowing experience uh, has evolved uh, since we first started sailing. So for those of you that have sailed with us in the past, and you can now try your own hand at glass blowing. So the glass blowing experts will uh, guide you through your glass blowing experience and you can choose from one of many designs to, um, to customize and you get to choose your own colors and everything. So super fun, unique, um, something different to do maybe on your day at sea. Um, but yeah, so yeah. many options up here. Yeah, I mean, those are things I've never seen on board other ships before. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, those will be some neat things to do. These pools look great. So there's two two pools on board the ship? There are, yes. There's the solarium pool, which you can see there on the left-hand side. That's the indoor pool. This is adults only. So it's really serene and relaxing and kind of has a spa feel to it with the music and the, the smells. And then you have the outdoor pool, which is always fun and lively with games and music and um, different activities. And of course, you can just go in um, one of the hot tubs and relax and, and do some people watching too. Yep. Yep. It looks like they took the picture when no one else was on the ship. <laughs> I, yeah. but it rarely looks like that. And there's no people there. Um, okay. So let's talk a little bit about the food. I know Celebrity is known for gourmet cuisine. Um, so this is a shot of the, the main dining room. That's one of the complimentary venues or the Ocean View Cafe is another place that folks can dine. Um, but they also have some great specialty restaurants on board this one. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, and first I want to tell you a little bit about the main dining room just real sure. quick. Um, one of the great things about the main dining room is that you can eat something different every single night. We switch out the menu every night. So on this cruise, you'll have different options each evening to choose from. That's great. But if you just want to change of scenery, we do have a variety of specialty restaurants to eat at. We have Morano, which is our um, five-star French-inspired a uh, steak restaurant. We have Tuscan Grill, which of course is Italian. And we also have our a la carte restaurant, Sushi on Five, 
um, which is a really nice option for a casual, more of a casual dining experience. And then my favorite is um, La Petite Chef. So this is somewhat new. We were the first cruise line to have this ex dining experience and I think it's coming to land now. Some restaurants on, on um, land have it, but it's an animation dining experience and it's, it's kind of a show, if you will. So the animation is put on the table and, the, and this little chef will do um, a show and there's three different shows that, that play throughout the sailing. And uh, it's just a really fun, cute, different experience. It's a four course meal and the, the food is phenomenal. All three shows, the food is different. So you can go to all three mm -hmm. shows and have a different meal as well as a different show. Wow, that's great. Dinner and a show all in the same place. <laughs> yep. Um, so that sounds like a fun evening. Um, we also have, or on board the ship, they have lots of bars and lounges. So there's lots of different places for folks to get their drinks. Um, that ice top martini bar looks pretty awesome. And the bartenders, um, I have seen before, I haven't been on the ship, but I have seen the bartenders and they are awesome. They do a great show just while you're having your drink. Yeah, it's definitely is a show. This is a place where people congregate to. So it yeah. becomes very lively in the evening hours, um, which just makes it all more fun. And you can see here, I mean, this photo is a photo that you'll see when you're on board because the, the bartenders just have such a good time with um, with their, you know, their skills that when they put together these shows. Yep. Yep. I can see the, the group enjoying this. Plus, I see there's a craft social bar. Is that the craft beers? Yeah, so we have um, other bars and venues that you can um, go to. Craft Social is a new one, and it does have beers on tap, as well as um, a variety of bottles of beer from around the world. So it's a, that's a really nice, fun place. Um, it's actually close to the Martini Bar, so you kind of have that, you know, you can get that same vibe if you want to, or you can get a more relaxed vibe and um and just kind of stay in that general area so okay. completely up to you what you're in the mood for that evening that sounds great yeah so um other places things that they might do in the evening of course the casino i'm sure is very popular um i know that uh, woody that's why it's called the woodhead group woody um enjoys the casino we'll probably see him in there with risa too at the slots um so that's just one of the activities but there's also awesome shows um in the evening um, do you know, are there um, multiple shows um, since it's a nine night um, cruise? Yes. Um, so we'll have um, multiple production shows as well as we typically have a, ma a magician, a comedian, um, and a variety of other acts in the main theater. And then in addition to that, you know, throughout the ship, we'll have various music acts Um you know, a string quartet or um, just a band playing throughout the ship. So if, if the big theater isn't uh, your, your thing, then you can go and, and have a more intimate setting. Um, that sounds great. On board. Yeah, lots of good options. Um, so we wanted to talk a little bit more in the details on this trip so folks can think about um, making their reservations. So these are, the, these are what the typical, what the rooms look like. And we've listed the prices here. Um, and um, these prices are pretty inclusive of everything. So they have the cruise fare, taxes, fees, and port expenses, and the all included amenities, which I think will uh, entice a lot of folks. Um, what is included with all included amenities, Amanda? So all your gratuities are automatically included. That includes your stateroom attendant, as well as your dining room attendant, um, your waiter, wait staff. And, and the best part is all your drinks are included. So you don't have to worry about um, what you're spending each day with uh, whatever cocktail or, you know, beverage of choice is. Um, I'm sure all that's your your really bottled popular. waters. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's your good. Bottled waters. So it's important to stay hydrated, of course. Um, so your bottled waters, your fresh squeezed juices, um, lattes, which is my thing. I love my latte in the morning. And then uh, alcohol beverages, as well as the tips um, with the alcohol beverages is included. And then on top of that, you also have the uh, internet. So you can check your um, email if you need to or not totally up to you, but that, that is included. So good. Sometimes folks do want to stay connected. Sometimes they just disconnect on vacation, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, plus included on the fairs, um, we'll have our special events on board, like our group cocktail parties and probably some other fun things too. So 
Well, you guys are awesome. Uh, the the Woodheads are so lucky to have you um, booking this cruise and, and um, attending this cruise. Uh, you guys will love the Magic Ladies. They take care of everything. Um, so feel feel at ease in their hands. Thank you, Amanda. So I wanted to also let folks know that when they make their reservations early, so book by February 28th, um, they'll be eligible to receive extra onboard credit uh, for early booking. So you get the special fares, you get the onboard credit. And for more information, you can visit our website. You can call our office, call Kate or Marsha. We're in the group department. Or you can send an email to groups at magiccruises.com. So thanks for watching. Thanks, everyone. Bye.